everybody, and welcome to another edition of Paranormal Nation Radio, Not So Normal Tonight. Isn't it, Denise? <laughs> yep, nothing's normal today. Yeah, so. nothing is normal today. No. Yep. We've it's, both been working hard today. Yeah, and, you know, and today has been one of those weird days where, it's, you know, 40 something degrees, but it looks like it's going to snow. You know, we had freezing rain this morning, and at least down here, I told Ron on Sunday night, I said, my foot's hurting. Mm -hmm. And he goes, so we are going to get something. I go, oh, yeah, we're going to get something. <laughs> and all we got was a little bit of freezing rain, but it's still, you know, my foot no. is more accurate than the weather people. We didn't get nothing up here. It was just real light down here, but, you know. Like when we were at Malvern, remember, they they weren't calling for anything. They weren't calling for that snow that we got. And, you know, and I told Ron, I said, you know, I said, my foot's hurting. I said, we're going to get something. And the next morning, you know, we had, what, four or five inches of snow. Yeah. And, and it yeah, wasn't it was even not, called. That, anytime we go to Melbourne, it's either going to be snowing, ice and cold, or it's going to be we're burning up. 110 yep yeah we've been there at both time frames mm -hmm. we've never been there when it's 75 or 80 degrees you know yeah beautiful Not, yeah 70 and sunny no we don't get that yeah so, so you gotta remember yeah. spirits love the heat because we've had a lot of stuff go on during that time and they love the cold <laughs> yeah they do i yeah. don't know what i did here there we go uh -oh. I, the this this chain is my mom's and the thing on it i got for my wedding anniversary from ron oh. and every once in a while it gets knotted up and i don't know why and and i'm not saying it's paranormal because it's not mm. it's just it's a serpentine chain and they get kinks in them and it just gets weird and i know uh, tammy's got the same thing every once in a while it'll have a little looks like a knot in it and you go up oh, we just gotta untwist it this way and this way oh there it is yeah, but thank yeah. you nigel for sharing the show out we really appreciate it thank you so much yeah and tonight uh, we're going to be doing some itc communications with different couple apps and an ink box s yeah so for those of you wondering itc is pretty much divin divination you know we're basically trying to talk to spirits and have spirits talk back to us in a way that we can hear it instantaneously as opposed to you know through an evp you know that we listen to six months later and go oh darn the spirit wanted to talk to me back then and i was dumb and didn't hear him you know that's kind of what we're doing i mean um sometimes you know explaining what itc is the way that I just did is a lot easier than trying to explain it the way that the technical people sit there and explain it. So right. needless to say, I do technical talking all day long and I've always had a knack for putting it into words that people can understand. And that's the way I've always done it. Right. So, and the easiest way to put it in the way people can understand I have no gifts and no abilities. I rely on the ITC, the apps, the spirit boxes and stuff like that. Denise, here's the spirits. So this is the deal between us to where I can hear maybe what she hears. We never know. And one of the things that people don't really get is that not every medium hears every spirit. <laughs> Sometimes they don't make themselves known to to the medium that's right. in the room or the psychic or you know somebody else they might be picking at you know you he might be pick there may be a spirit picking at you that doesn't want me to see it doesn't want to talk to me and isn't going to talk to me so you know this is your way of being able to maybe pick up something that i can't I can't see, I won't see, because that's the way that it's, it is. Right. Um, any, any medium that says they see every spirit, they only see every spirit they see. Right. So keep that in mind, because it's up to the spirit 
to if, want to be if seen. You had, if you seen every spirit, you'd be going nuts. Imagine how many billions and billions of people have died. In but how many are truly spirits that are roaming the earth? Yeah. We yeah. don't know. No, we don't. And thank God. And, yeah. you know, I doubt if we'll ever find out. No, yeah. I don't think we will. And even even if we're even when we pass and we see other spirits, we're still not going to see them all. No, I mean, we don't see every person in the world, so we're not going to see every spirit in the world. So, like I said, just keep that in mind. Well, yeah. what makes me always wonder since I got into the paranormal about seven years ago and stuff is you look at all the paranormal investigators and people in the paranormal that have passed away. Wouldn't you think they would be the ones coming back and telling us everything? You would think it. You'd think something. Yeah. But the question is, is, is it just that we're more respectful and we're not going to say, hey, I know that you were in the paranormal. Can you come and talk to me and tell me something? No, we don't do that. No. no. And it's just, you know, I thought for sure, you know, I my mom knew I was into this. I thought for sure she'd come and say something to me. So far, she hasn't. And yeah. and it's been almost, well, it's been five years. I so, figured the, the person who got me into the paranormal that passed away would come and let me know. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and stuff like that. But it always makes you wonder who we're actually talking to when we uh, talk to these spirits. Well, in the case of the your mentor, he has other things to do. And you're probably yeah. the least of the things that he wants to talk to. Now, some of the other paranormal investigators that he was closer to, maybe. Maybe he's yeah. talking to them, but they haven't, they haven't had said anything. anything either. Mm -mm. Exactly. So, and they said the same thing you did. They thought they might hear from them. Yeah. yeah right. you, you know, you would think you, you've you had a lot of big, how would I say that? I don't want to say celebrities, but there are celebrities, professionals, experts, and stuff in this field. Don't like the expert word, but anyway, that have passed away you would think they would be the ones guiding the way into certain devices to tell the rest of the paranormal people. Just don't know. We don't like know. Said, maybe they, maybe because of the fact that they were into the paranormal, maybe they just don't want to be part of it in right. their, in their, in their death maybe, maybe they got the answer that they were looking for and they and, don't <laughs> yeah maybe they passed maybe they crossed over to wherever it is they were going to go and said i don't have any unfinished business now that i figured this part out yeah exactly exactly you know, but do i believe that unfinished business is the thing that keeps the spirit here i don't know i mean well, some people that have a near-death experience that's what they claim some of them do well, that they had unfinished business that they needed right. to complete. That's what they claim. Well, right. It's just like a lot of the guests we've had lately on the, both shows and everything has opened my eyes up to a lot of different things. Yeah, we've had some good and ones. Never, you know, I always wondered why you had to help somebody cross over. Right. right? Now, I never put it into perspective like one of our guests did that. You know, these people that are on their deathbed, that's knowing they're going to pass away, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Those are the ones that an arm reaches down or a light comes to you or something. That I can understand. Mm -hmm. The ones that are killed in a car wreck instantly, that are murdered, that die just out of the blue. Those, I don't think know what the light is like they said they're they don't know they're dead yet and it, it makes sense in a way yeah but it, it's a theory you know it's all a theory so the, the theory, theory. I, I always wonder about all mm -hmm. of it so. it does it makes us wonder that's why we continue on and try to find an answer which there again, I believe we'll never find the answer.
Not while we're alive. No. It's not, some things aren't known, aren't for us to know. It's for us to believe. Exactly. It's kind of like. Okay, this is for experimental purposes only. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <just> know. <laughs> so, oh. <clears throat> so, you know, it's kind of like. How was it? Uh, it's kind of like God, you know. We kind of have to just. The, some things we just have to believe. Well, there's proof of God, and there's also proof of every, you know, all the other spirits. Well, there's proof we of God. That. There's also proof of Satan, right? Demonic and everything. You have that faith and everything. So that makes you wonder. You know, Satan's always trying to get us one way or another. So why wouldn't there be spirits out here helping us or trying to protect us? Yeah. Yep. We don't know. And others but, that are out there trying to trip us up. Right. But anyway, we're going to get started on our devices here. Here is the Echo Box. I can't hear you. All set up and ready. Hey, and Dara. if you notice, hey, Dara. And if you notice, I have our little pressure sensitive flashlight. Yep. That we're going to try. It's not unscrewed. None of that. It has a pressure switch on it. You gotta touch it. Yep. So and it has to touch both lines on that. There's there's little lines on there that if you don't touch both of them, it doesn't come on. It's a full contact. Exactly. So, you know, if there's any spirits in here that want to touch this, all you do is this black strip right here. Just push down on it. They can throw objects, they can move objects, so surely they can press down on it. Oh, yeah. We don't know. But anyway, I'm going to turn the echo box on and see what we hear. Okay. Start. Uh, hello. Can you guys hear it? Yeah, we're turning our end up. Facebook. So who's here with us? Are there spirits here that want to talk to us? Maybe. Maybe. Who's the lady that wants to talk to us? How many spirits are here in the room with me? Denise and Ron. 
Do you What's the name of a spirit with Carl? Sound like one of the kids' a song. 
Oh, you said glub glub. Yep. Glub. Yep. She's got a song. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crap and uh oh. Apparently, Lizzie's here yeah. watching me today. What's yeah. Think. Think. Oh. Go or no? Yeah, I know. I, I heard that too. The spirit speaking to us. Are you are you male? Are you female? Are you setting them up to speak to each other? Yeah. Oh, here. Can you hear the other speaker or other spirits talking? watching on Facebook, put the captions on. The captions may tell you some things that we can't really, we're not making out. So just be aware of that. Yep. See, they just agree. Said, yep. Yep. Must be a redneck app. They say, yep. Yep. Could be a cowboy. I thought I heard mother. That's what I heard too. Okay. There we heard yep again. Get out. Get out. Get out. Whose mother is here? Howdy. Howdy. It's that cowboy. Well, we got howdy and yep. <laughs> She heard mother too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all heard mother. What's heard mother's mother name? Mother. This app cannot make a word. Yep. 
What what is mother's name? Ron says he's heard Denise again. The one that said mother, can you tell us your name? But her face. Face? Stuff that I should be hearing words, but I, don't, I can't tell what they are. I haven't listened to Echo Box in a while, so her ears aren't as trained as you get your ears used to it. Yep. <clears throat> That's what I liked about the ink box because it's pretty similar. I was, yeah. I was used to it. Okay, thank you. We're going to try something else. Okay. Come back later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay. <coughs> so that was the Echo Box, folks. Echo Box 3, to be exact. No. Nothing like something that sounds ominous. Like when we talked to the uh, spirit from that, uh, that park. Uh, oh, drive by the Shrine Park. Shrine Park, park man. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my okay. God. Do you remember that? When Rick would have Echo Vox sessions with, and the Shrine Park man would come through. Yeah, he lived not yeah. at the time and not very far from this park. Yeah, there there was a there was a road, a road called it's, Shrine Park Road yeah. by a cemetery, and the first time we drove past it, we were going to get Rick, and I saw it, and all I could do was laugh. Yeah, it's a turn right there. Yeah. yeah. So <coughs> it just made me laugh. So every time we drive by it. <laughs> you know, we just think of Rick and laugh, you know. Exactly. He has some good arguments and fights with the Shrine yeah. Park man. <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah, yes, lots, he did. Of, lots of cussing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was Rick. That was, that was yeah. Funny. So, anyway, we're going to start up Necrophonics. This is White Noise with Reverb on. And this is another app that doesn't have words in it. And it's not on the internet, so it can't do anything like that. But we're going to start it. Hello. Wake up. How many spirits 
spirits are at Carl's. How many spirits are here? Today. <laughs> How many spirits are at April's house? The house is always full. She's got she's got ten. Ten today. Spirits? Man, she got a full house. That's what I said. She got a full house today. Ten spirits, seven boys. Man, they could start two football teams. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty tense around there, April. <laughs> One's messing with Mika. Micah, yeah. Micah. What's it doing? Micah. What's the spirit doing to Micah at April's house? Messing with him good or bad? No. Yeah. <laughs> It's irritating. Oh, irritating. Yeah. What spirit is it? Oh. He's spouting off lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every everybody loves Micah. He's a good kid. Yes, he is. Yeah, he needs to ignore that spirit and let's go yeah. about his business. Tell him to tell him to tell the spirit to leave me he alone. Not welcome. Not welcome to yeah. Not welcome. <laughs> tell him I said it. Tell Micah I said it. Maybe that'll help. Mm -hmm. April, when are you guys starting? When are you guys starting to celebrate Hanukkah? When's Hanukkah start this year? I know you can turn on this light. Turn on the light. <laughs> Start the AT. I'd love to see you turn on the light. Hey, Ezra. I'm sending you guys hugs. Did the hug emoji. There I don't. I don't have an emoji. You don't have this. emojis. No. No. Nope. They don't give it. Nope. On here. Uh, nope. No, we don't. See, I, you know, when when you just kind of have our own conversation, and ignore it. That's when they want to get involved. I've noticed. Yeah, we've done that on investigation. Oh, yeah. We sit down and start talking and then, yep. oh, we are got to go check that out. Yeah. Yep, they use their elbows and they start getting in there <laughs> and trying to irritate us at that point. Nah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Hey, is, is Earl out there? No. What do you think? You know who Earl is. Come on. Yeah. Who's that? It's <laughs> like cat. Who <laughs> that? All right. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Hey, Obadiah. 
That seems like an English band starting up. Hi. Hi. Crazy Crane, come on. Next thing we'll hear is ball of lightning. Five. Name all of April's kids. Yeah, if you can do that, that would be amazing. Because I can't even do that. Yeah. I think it's trying. It got tongue twisted. If you can tell me two of those kids' names, I would be Maybe you can tell me what I'm doing over here. What am I doing at my house? Yeah, I do know. You tell me. <laughs> no. We all know what Denise is doing. How about you? Can you tell me who I work for? Can, yeah, can you tell me the name of the company I work for? Yep. <laughs> it's kind of how I feel about it, but yeah. <laughs> Stop. Can you tell me any of the companies Denise is working for? saying they're all out of business why should we name them oh, yeah you say their name maybe they'll sponsor the show <laughs> did that say what i thought it said i don't know what it's i couldn't hear it what did you think it said the f word Oh, oh. <clears throat> uh, that's probably what I say. Yeah, can you name any company that I work, I've worked for? You don't have to whisper it. I'm thinking it, so maybe you don't know it. So. <clears throat> what branch of the military was Carl in? Are any of you veterans? Maybe phrase it. Did any of you serve in the military? Cavalry. No. Did you fight in any war? We both went to sea. Yeah. Do you know the town I live in? What is it? Pride now. I'll show you go back. Yeah. 
Do we have a question? <clears throat> Who's here? <laughs> Can you say your name again? I might. Well, you haven't yet. Do you have fun talking to us? Hello. Hello. Is there is there any adjustments you can make on the necrophonic? Any adjustments? Yeah, or, you know, like you can on um, Echo Box. On Echo Box. No. Uh -uh. Okay. The only adjustments you can do on here is reverb or reverb with echo or echo by itself. This is what the echo sounds like. I don't like the echo. I don't either. And what if you turn off the reverb? Hello? Who's here? Eric. That's not like you said Eric. Eric, yeah. Is Eric here? The spirits that are in this room with me, can you talk through this device? Who is Eric? You don't have to whisper. Control. Okay. Control. Okay, then we know who you're talking about. Thank you so much. Yeah. Do I have trolls up here? Uh, oh yeah. Barry. Yeah, Barry, Eric. Yeah, that's pretty pretty close. Oh close caption said Barry. Yeah. Yeah, Barry, Eric, that sounds pretty close. <laughs> Do you spirits know you're live talking on air right now? That the whole world can yeah. hear you right at this moment in time. What do you want the world to know? Tell, tell the world something about the spirit world that we don't know. I mean, do, do spirits go to the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> you have to do a holy pee pee. What holiday is coming up? Say that again. Okay. I am pleasing. Are you? No. <laughs> dude. Dude. Hey, dude. Hey, where's the cowboy at that was on here on the other one? Yep. Come on. Say yep. What do we know? 
No. Can you talk through this device? If you talk through this device, you can press and turn this light on. Hey, we got a pirate. All right. Do we have a pirate? Do you want to tell us something? Can can you tell us a secret? Can you tell me a sentence? Um. I guess I'm getting a secret. It's whispering. Yeah, it's whispering. <laughs> Are you waiting for me to bring the ink box out? Can you talk through Eddie here? Can I go get him? Bathroom. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye. That. <coughs> oh, that one seemed to be a little more active. It does. Yeah. You just never know. You know. Exactly. You don't know what'll work or we got the shock. This is the, yeah, this is the ink box. Ink box. Test. Yep. Yeah, when we uh, were at McPike, I tried the echo <laughs> box. Just never got nothing there. And we really haven't right. tried it since Jerome died, uh -uh. which we need to because Jerome loved the equipment. Mm hmm. Okay, we're going to put this on FM scan. Hello. WKRP. WKTK. I have a brother on there. Playing today's country and yesterday's oldies. Yeah. Hello. My mom works for them. And <coughs> talk through this. What modes do you have? FM and what? FM, AM, and I have seven uh, shortwave radio. Shortwave radio? Okay. Hmm. Hello. On. How many Who's radio there? stations are in your area? Uh, I would probably say 10 or 12 at least. Maybe more than that. I could probably pick up all of them in 10 or 10. It's not like Brandon. Right, built his voice into yeah. it. I know he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Who's here? Yep. Yep. There is. Adam There's our cowboy. Is the cowboy here? 
to the music. Do you want to talk to it? Let's try an alien band. Maybe. You got a woodpecker. I'm going to Yeah, short waves are going to be really sparse. I'm going to get short waves. Can anybody talk to this? Who's here with us? I'm at. Who's here? Can you give us a name? Hello, Donna. Hello. Yeah, I heard seriously too. And can you give us one name? Spirit at the other house up there that touched me. Coach, spirit of the kid. I guess it's squab. Squab. 
Liberty again, but not in that commercial. But they could be getting the Liberty, one of the Liberty stations. Could be. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Just a second. Okay. Okay. Each friend's got. <laughs> this is an undisclosed location that only Denise and Ron know about. Okay, I'm going to turn the turn it on, <coughs> and we're going to play this. I know. We're at the house. In Gallatin, an undisclosed location, taking a little video. If there's any spirits in here, please talk to us. No, front. According to the dowsing rods, there's a lot in here, but. What? I heard yeah. that plane is day. No, it wasn't. If you all heard that, that came out of the ink box. We'll be doing a lot of cleaning in this house and fixing it up. So. That's the downstairs. We'll go up here and see if there's any spirits up here. I if see you that. see anything. I see that 90s wallpaper. Mm -hmm. We're in the upstairs. Are there any spirits in here? Can you talk to me? Hello? my feet walking across the floor. <clears throat> but anyway, we'll see what goes on. So did you see anything up there? Yeah, I saw about three different spirits on the up on the upper floor. On the first floor, I thought I saw one over mm -hmm. by Gary. Okay. Kind of looking over his shoulder, like, "What are you doing?" Mm-hmm. Because if you heard this talking about, you know, what the ink box said, did you hear the F word come out? Mm-hmm. It came out plain as day. The spirit on the first floor. I heard, thought I heard say something out front. Yeah, I heard that too. But the spirit that was downstairs looked like he died. I mean, he was wearing clothes like we wear. So he's not been gone long. But okay. it's, he's been gone at least in the last 30 years. Okay. So, hello, Facebook user. Did you, could you kind of see the face or anything to describe it? 
he had dark hair and he had glasses. Um, most likely he looked like he was showing me himself like in, in his forties, maybe, but I think he was older when he died, you know, so for some reason, and he, he showed me that he had a blue collar job. He had a, like a uniform, uh, like a, I don't know, maybe he was a mechanic or something. Right. It's kind of what he looks like, but do I know that? I mean, he could have been a garbage man, but because, I mean, all those uniforms pretty much look the same. Exactly. Leah, Lauren just left, and the dogs are now starting to bark. Oh. Yeah, they're used to her being here all the time now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're used to her, somebody being around them. Yeah. That's what they're used to. Well, since, uh, well... We're not going to get into that personal stuff. Yeah, here. we won't. Um, but yeah, the little Chihuahua is a big mouth. Mm -hmm. Who to thunk those little dogs? But oh yeah, that's kind of what he's showing me is that he worked he worked a job where he wore a uniform, and apparently he wants to be about between thirty five and forty five. <laughs> okay, so. and what about the ones upstairs? I saw one was a, a woman and she was wearing pants and a, and a sweater. Um, she blonde hair and a ponytail. Um, light complected is what I saw on her. And the other one, the other lady that I saw up there, she, she was much older. She had gray hair. Um, she's apparently a very proud grandma type person, you know, very proud of her family and stuff. Um, the question is, is, is she related to that house or is she related to Gary or you? No. Um, she wasn't very, she was, she was slim. She was not overweight in any way. She was kind mm -hmm. of built like me. Um, but she did have gray hair. Um, she had short hair, short gray hair. And the other one I did only saw him in, in passing. They it was very fast. So I don't know if it was male or female, the third one upstairs. Right. But you see the condition of that house. Mm -hmm. You know, people moved out of there two months ago. Two months ago. Is that what it looked like two months ago? Or did they tear it up that bad? They tore it up that bad. To where they're going to have to redo the entire bathrooms and all that? Yep. I'd be suing them. I know. They're in another one of his houses. They wouldn't this be in mine. Sec this is the second one they have destroyed. It's got to be his family. Mm -mm. Then I would be ev I'd be evicting them right now. Oh, I know. I can imagine what the other house and the other house is haunted too her aunt that lived there before could see spirits and said they were all over the place in that house was it in the house or with the family in the house because i for something over at the other over at the house where they're living now but up here they said they seen and heard a lot of stuff they heard kids and everything up there which they have kids but Again, like I said, I want people to always be aware that with children, spirits, it could just be something wanting you to accept it. It could may not be a may not be a child. It just may be a somebody that says, oh, you're going to accept the child. So I'm going to show myself as a child so that you invite me in to let me stay. Right. So, I mean, right. it ha it's classic. Yeah, and like I said, we got a lot of work to do up there, a lot of cleaning up there before I bring anybody up. But, uh, I mean, the house was built in 1895. Mm -hmm. And from the outside, at one time, it had to be a gorgeous big house. It had to have been. Based on what I saw on the 
how many roofs there are. They've added on to that house a few times. They've only added on once. Was that the front part that that the lower level or the upper level? In the back. In okay. the back of the house, they added the kitchen on the main level. Okay. I didn't walk in there, but uh yeah. That that in there. Mm -mm. We've been to bad locations, but nothing like that. Let's see if I can find some Sanford fire maps for that area. I've got to get up to the library and dig through some old. Uh, it's hard to find some of the old newspapers in our area. Yeah. Hey, Greg. The yeah, you got a good chance of getting them in in the library because they got free, well, to you it's free, uh, right. newspapers.com. And when I did a search, I did a search for Missouri and, from Missouri and Kansas newspapers about the, the actual address. But did the uh -huh. address change over time? It did. Because it is actually... Let's see, one, two, three blocks off of the main road where the, mm -hmm. we'll say from the main road where the courthouse is. Yeah. So when this house was built, I went back to some of the plat maps. Right. It was on the edge of the town with nothing around it. But this big a house tells me in 1895, somebody with money had it to build that big a house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, here is a, I've got a map mm -hmm. of Gallatin, Missouri. It's a Sanford fire map. Mm hmm. What year? Uh, that's what I'm getting ready to tell you as soon as I get yeah. it up here. So <coughs> this this is a map of that. It says that it was from March 1886. Oh wow. So, so that house wouldn't have been built yet. No, it would no. not have been built, but the things that I'm gonna show you, it's always good to know. So here's the hotel. Uh-huh. As you can see, billiards in the basement. So you had a hotel, and this is showing you is that the address? No, this is a different address. No. Yeah. But this is telling you right here, this is would be the address if it was on Jackson Street. Right. It would be 208. Yeah. And it would be 40, 432 if it was on whatever street this is. At so it tells, you, yeah. it tells you the different addresses. Here you go. Mil military, I think. Or Millery. 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 So you got all kinds of different things. See grocery, hardware, and yeah, Queen, and so you've got all this different stuff where you can look at the at, public at well, it. and it also tells you how many stories a building is. Mm -hmm. So, is this Windsor Hotel still there? No. Hmm. So back out of that a little bit. Let me see where we're at in Gallatin. Keep backing out a little bit so I can see the streets. Okay. <laughs> North Jackson Adams. Does that one have the courthouse on it anywhere? Uh, what? Where is the where's the courthouse at? What street? Uh, would be on the corner of Grand and Main. Maybe right, right, the main right, right, here. right in here. Yep. Yeah. This looks right here. Here's the courthouse. Yeah. Be this okay. Thing. There's the courthouse. Mm hmm. Now. And the public well. Okay. <laughs> zoom <laughs> out. Just zoom in a little or zoom out a little bit. And there's okay, the jail. Go, okay. You see Market Street. Mm hmm. <clears throat> go down from there to the next block. 
Okay, right on the corner of Grand and Market over on the left, what are those buildings? So right this there. Here? Yeah. That, it says DWG. I don't know what that one is. This here is a boarding house. Yeah, that right there, that 406 was the restaurant we was trying to buy. Okay. Oh, okay. So as you can see, the, DW, the DRG are up there. Mm -hmm. That is the bank that Jesse James robbed and killed the guy in. Oh. So right here, this one says one story. Right. It's originally a one story, and this was a two story. Exactly. So, and as you can see, here's your bakery, billiards, grocery, and meat. And yep. it's, basically, it was all two floors. Look at this. Right. Here's the bakehouse and the oven that goes with the bakery that was separate yep. from the bakery. Yeah. So it's really interesting when you look at these fire maps because mm -hmm. it tells you a lot of stuff that if you can find another map, it'll show you how it changed. That's how I found out that the Sally house was one and a half stories originally was because of these fire maps. So, but yeah. And then here's like, this is an inlay of something else that's another part of the town. Right. It shows a pond. Yeah, it shows a pond and another uh, thing in front. Here's a. And well, then you see Van Buren. Van Buren. Right, yep. Right there. Keep going. Okay. That'd be main. Keep going. That's as far as it goes over. Yep. Yeah. If it went down two more blocks, that's where we live at. So, but here you go. Here's the livery. Uh huh. Where they kept all the horses and stuff. So more than likely, there is the house a, you went to. Is that on this map? Nope. Or is it? Mm -mm. It's, or it's, it's just off. It. Okay. Right. So this is what I'm kind of looking for: is a, a map of <laughs> right of, of this, but for where right. he's at. But these these fire maps give you so much more information, and. I know that it seems weird that a company, Sandborn, would make fire maps of every major city. Right. But they did. And they were they were providing insurance for people back in the day. So I wonder if here's another let's see what this one is, if this is a different time for uh Gallatin. This is 1893. And as you can see, it's bigger because there's two. There's right. two maps now. So when we go to the first <coughs> one, you'll be able to see how how the town changed. You know, public square. See all the see how many more buildings there are in the same uh -huh. area? Yeah. So and of course it gets smaller, the map gets smaller because you've got more <coughs> things to look at. And yeah. the city limits have changed. Now you see, okay, right, go back up. You see where it says the public square? Yep. Yeah. That's where the courthouse would be at. Right, that's where it was on the other see, map. right across the street, all them buildings? Right here? Or no, here? the other way. Right there. Mm hmm Okay. All those buildings are there except for the ones in the light color and the two down below it. These two? Those two and the one that says drug and family jewelry something. Oh, jewelry, jewelry and drugs and drugs. Yeah. You guys had and, buttloads of. I mean, I think this is all basically the same story. I mean, that's not one big building and just split in the different. Yeah. If you remember here about five years ago, you can look at the Gallatin News, the big fire in town. Yeah. They took out four of those center buildings. Right. Oh, wow. So, like here, here's a bank. That, yeah, that bank right there mm -hmm. is a beautiful building that nobody has fixed up, and it's got this beautiful dome on top yeah, of it. Yeah, you can see right here. See this circle? Uh-huh. You've got... Yeah. showing that there's a, a turret there or something. Yeah, something there's a, a, a dome up there. I think they probably used it to protect the town at times. Yeah, so see right here, 10 foot tower. <clears throat> yep. And so when you look down here, Central Hotel. Yep. 
So you've got all kinds of, you can actually watch the businesses change over time yeah. on this, on these maps. So you're, like I said, you're looking at this and you're going, this is how our town was at this point, And here is how it is now. And then here's the second page of showing more, more information to the next part okay. of the town. Where are we at now? So this is Maine and this is sideways. So right. this would be north over here. Let's see if I can turn it. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> See, it's still not going. Where would the uh, Bigfoot crossing be? Bigfoot crossing? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. On further east at the river. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Well, that's this says water. I don't I think that's that's Water Street. Yeah. So. yeah, that's Water Street, Davies. So Oh, I see where it's a pool. I guess they made the pond the pool. No, that's still the pond. Still a pond? Okay. Yeah. This is a different shape. That's where they had the Edna roller mills, Klein and Klein. Right. And then see it don't even go east far enough to show you where the yeah. horse race track was at. Well, here you got you got the Presbyterian College. Wow. And the public school. Yeah, it's on the other How long did you have a horse track up there? And well, we'll put it this way. Frank James was the Grand Marshal. Right. He was a Grand Marshal everybody's horse track. Yeah. Look at this. He had a horse track up in Smithville. See your squirrel cage jail? Yep, that's it. How many it. horse tracks did you have in Missouri? How's time? that for some detail? Yeah, that's exactly how it looks like from the roof. So... Yeah, the it, bell tower, Greg. It's a tower. It didn't have a bell in it. It's got windows and glass all the way around it. And a, it actually looks like something out of the Middle East set on top of the building. So let's see. Let's see if we can get a little further along to about 1895. <coughs> okay, we're back to 1886. Doesn't say the year, huh? Until you click on it. No, doesn't say the year until we click on it. Here we go, 1905. Right. Okay, 1905. And there's four views. So power off. So now you're seeing some of the research that I do on some of these locations. So this shows you the town. So is the address within one of these four views? Okay, where are we at here? So we've got... It's further we, east. We got Maine. And this isn't given... Water Street here. Water Street's heading uh, west. Yeah, west. Here's Julia Richardson's subdivision, which we mm -hmm. subdivided land, and Alexander's addition. Mm-hmm. Uh, which we know all about. You froze up, Denise. No. I froze up. Yep. Now you're good. Okay. So I forgot the. Let me look. Let's see if I got it in my notes here. Because I don't want to. I don't want you to. There's Van Buren up there. That's the other side of the main of 13 highway. Right. Folks, we're giving you a history lesson in location of Gallatin, Missouri. Okay. Well, so like I said, you're, you can see how this is telling us, Hey, this guy owned this property at one point. Yeah, you can see all kinds of stuff. Here's the public square again. So which way do I need to go? Okay, that's the public square. Right here. So you would go down. Would be south. 
Okay. So you see Van Buren right there? That runs east and west. Right. Yeah. So <clears throat> you'd have to go farther east to find Clay Street. Here's Clay, and it's not on the it's on okay. the map. Clay, but Van Buren. Okay, go down. So needless to say, we don't have that yet. There's we don't have Mill Street on there. If we do. It says South Street. Did they change the name? No, go back up. Because Van Buren. Okay, let me see. Where's the courthouse at? Georgia. Right here. And number two? Yep. Okay, we got to go. That's Maine. Now go down a little bit. Let me see here where I'm at. So okay. we have Van Buren here is in map four. Pull up. No, that number two isn't the courthouse. It says public <coughs> square. That's where the courthouse was. Oh, okay. Public Square. And there is Grand Main. Uh, Johnson. Water Street. Clay Street. Okay, okay, if you go over to Clay and Van Buren. Yeah. Okay. Right there where your mouse is at. Mm -hmm. Down on the, to the right property on that very corner. Mm -hmm. That's where we live at. Okay. So we're that's on not Clay, part of the and, Clay and Van Buren is right out my front door running that way. So if we go... We'd have to go uh, to where that key is at. Oh, Over. further east? Yeah, yeah that's further. where that house would be at. Okay, so as you can see, it also gives you special things. As the maps get more and more detailed, uh -huh. it gives you different businesses and things that were in that area. Like Okay, where it says Presbyterian Church. Yep. F4 or is that P4? E4. It's map four. Okay. Where's <coughs> that? Map uh, four. So it just says it's in map four. So it would be this cross would be the Presbyterian Church. So and as you can see, this says original town going through here. Mm-hmm. So and then well, here, if that's the case where South Street is at. Mm -hmm. That would have been changed to Mill Street. That's what I was thinking. See, this is why this is important to, to learn. As you can also see over here, your key, mm -hmm. buildings colored, yellow are frame. Red is brick, blue is stone, gray is iron, brown is adobe, and green are special. So this right. gives you all that stuff to where you know what the houses are made of. At this point in time, all this map is telling us, though, is more of which map to look at. When we get into map four, you know, you're going to see what the, you know, what the buildings are made out of. So, right. like, if you go here... I'm going to go to the next map, see if it gives us anything. But see there how the maps have different colors in the buildings? Yeah. There's that Windsor Hotel again. Yeah. And if we go back to that, we know it's we know it's brick because right. they said red was brick. So. Exactly. But I just can't imagine... I kind of wonder what that looked like. Here's a hall. More livery. The thing is, is you'll notice those go away. Here's the undertaker. 
Yeah. Windsor Hotel. And let me look. Let me look that up and see if it's got a picture. When did that go out of business? And look at this. It also says it's got it had a steam Windsor. heater. You don't even have a hotel up there now, do you? No, nothing you want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, and they had two. They had the Central Hotel and the Windsor uh, Hotel. Um, well, we also had the railroad. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we See what it says here. Just but again, interesting to us. But. but like I said, this is how you find out stuff here. It's like the roof on this one. But there's people Porch. in chat may not care. Yep. Let me see if I can find. Oh, wow. You want it? Come on, bring that picture. I found a picture of it. Okay. I'm going to share it up on the screen. You're going to love out. this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nineteen twenty one. This one might have this There's the Windsor Hotel in Gallatin, Missouri. Oh, wow. Yeah. And what did I say? I said it was two stories. And what do you see? Two stories. Mm -hmm. God, that's a beautiful building. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty nice. What's it look like now? An empty parking lot. Oh, really? Mm. Uh huh. Is, is, that, is that catch on fire? I have no or idea. What happened? They yeah. didn't. They didn't really say. Uh, let me get off here and stop. That would be that something that you could find out from the newspapers. Right. Or even any historian <coughs> in your local <coughs> town. A pretty fancy place for. Uh, it was. For that, yeah. Uh, what's it say? Let me see here. Well, you said that railroad went through there and. Yeah, but now you want to know what's funny is you go back to those maps. The railroad was actually from where the courthouse is, three quarters yeah. of a mile to the railroad. Mm. Huh. And you're saying that this was clay and mill? Ah, uh, that's South Street. That could have been renamed to Mill Street. Hey, Jane. This this shape of this house look Hi, familiar? Uh, nope. Hmm. Trying to get some information on a a house uh, Carl and Gary just Let's were see. told about. It. It's possibly haunted. This is in. We're up to 1921. Okay. And so. Let's see what we got. Trying to just see if I can find. So here south, we're further south than we were. There's Van Buren. Mm hmm. And Market. See, that's on the west side of town. You're right. They didn't give me the, you know, the map. Hey, saying, hey, go here. Right. This map. Um, let's go to. Let's go to one. See if it gives us something that we can. Here we go. <coughs> As you can see, they change it all the time. Right. Okay. There's Clay and Van Buren. So we go, let me see. We got Van Buren. We go down to the bottom of the hill. There's a street. Go to the top of the hill. Okay. Right there where that dot is, where it says South Street. Okay, which one? Okay, go over the other way. Keep right there. Down to that empty lot right there. 
right here? Yeah. Okay, that's so where that house would be at. Let's go to map six and see what we get. Okay. That's map two. Yeah. Right there. Let me... I, I said go to six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your computer okay. didn't listen to you. So it's going to be this little part up here. <clears throat> okay. There's Clay Street. And Julia. Named after yeah. Julia. Let's see. Five. See, it don't show much on the east side of town. Like I said, it's just going to take me some digging to... Mm -hmm. So here's South Street. Yeah. There's Johnson. There's Market. There's Main Street. That Main Street is Highway 13. Right. <clears throat> See that Baptist Church right there? Mm hmm It's still there today. It is the Baptist <coughs> Church. So they had they had electricity. Yeah. <laughs> So, and it has two towers. Does it still have those two towers? Nope. Probably lost them in a tornado. Probably. It's, <coughs> it's just interesting when you look at it. Uh huh. So, see here? One and a half stories. Right. Roof, one story, one story. And then these are like uh, porches. Right. So you can. They did. They did a really good job back then on all this stuff. And you can see they changed. They had this says three sixteen, and then it says four twenty three. Depending yeah. upon when, you know, it used to be three sixteen, and now it's four twenty three, or it's four twenty three, and now it's three sixteen, meaning that the house numbers changed over time is what i discovered when i was looking at all that so right all we've got to do is figure out what the real map is and go okay this is what was there but this shows you the progression of of gallatin between 1886 and uh 20 19 was this 19 1921 right so it's at least something, but they stopped doing these <coughs> maps like in the, in some places in the thirties and other places in the forties mm -hmm. and then you can't get them anymore. So um, the libraries have a real good, um, like the state of Missouri has a bunch of these on file through uh, Mizzou. Mizzou's got a website where you can look at a lot of them. If they had them, that's where you would find them. Right. So, but, but it is sad that stuff we can't find. Right. I'm going to bring something up to show you. Now, you've seen the video of me walking through that house. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Okay. I don't know what year this was when it was for sale, but it had to be a several years ago when they wanted $140,000 for this house. Wow. Now wait. See, that's the house. Mm -hmm. Remember me in that room? Mm-hmm. That was the uh, bedroom there off the front. 
This is the dining room. Wow, that looked pretty nice. There's a ceiling it had in it at one time. Man, they let it yeah, go it had hand. a tin ceiling, huh? Yeah, that wallpaper is still up in <laughs> there. Like I said, stuck in the 90s. But now look at the bathroom. They tore that drywall off of there. That air conditioner is no longer in there. We got a board up over it. But yeah. see off to the left, see in those center deals to divide the room, there's mm -hmm. glass doors with shelves in there. That kitchen don't look nothing like that now. No. Because no, that really backsplash, that, that backsplash is tore up completely. I have to take it out. Well, the counter needs to be redone. That was disgusting. <laughs> but you see that, you see that center with that and everything on right inside this door on the left there is a big furnace in there here's the stairs going upstairs here's one of the bedrooms up that bedroom that had that little bitty door in it yeah i wanted to show you this Here's the backyard, what it was supposed to look like. <laughs> you know, that fence, that fence was there when they moved in, but it is tore completely up. That little garage goes with it. Here's the side of the house. There's another side of the house. See this back part where that white door is? Mm hmm that part on to the right, I think, has been added on. <clears throat> but anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Yeah, I found I found so, a couple of the Zillow list, listings on it from the past. So, yeah. but, but now you take that number of what it was worth back then. And up there now, you can take the uh, four and a bunch of them zeros off of there. Is yep. what it would be valued at. Yeah. Mostly because I of mean, the fact that there you'd have to you have to change out almost everything. Yeah. Well, we got to put new win every window in there is either broken or not there. Yeah, that house. Uh, it was they really let it go. It was trashed. Those people, like I said, they would not be living mm -mm. in my house. You should have. I've known them for a long time and everything. And you should have seen the trailer they had in Hamilton. It had to be bulldozed in and hauled off. Man. That's how bad it was. No. Oh. That's, but, that's just not good. But anyway, we're checking it out to see what spirits are in there, what's going on up there, and stuff. But before I get you guys up there, I got a lot of cleaning to do in that. I don't want you up there smelling everything that's in there. Well, you know, I kind of tend to, you know, kind of know what I'm getting myself into when I go to some place. Right. But yeah, we just at this point we just need to get over our <clears throat> whatever it is we caught from the mix of crap from all the kids and family. Exactly. That's what but I'm waiting for is you guys to get <clears throat> up and everything. I'll have heat in there so we don't freeze to death. Well, stuff. you know us. We don't sorry. We don't go hardly anywhere in the winter because of the cold. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Most of us don't want to go out driving around when there's a bunch of snow and ice on the road because it's just not worth it. You know, no, I don't know about everybody not. else, but when it's snowy out, I don't leave the house. No. There, if there's no reason for me to leave, I'm not going to. So it just is what it is. So, yeah. Well, I've been aiming to get up there the last few days, but I had to work. So, that's been kind of put on hold up there. Yeah. But 
It will. Yes, Greg. Kids are moving petri dishes. So yeah, those kids, and they're all grown kids, mind you now, teenagers. But how do I say this? Mom and Dad let them do anything they want. Oh, at that house, tearing it up? You don't do that. It, that's not respect. I know. I mean, how do you, how do you explain that to, to people? You know, you, you respect. You're renting someplace. You don't own it. You should be respecting it. You know, there's a few mm -hmm. things that you can do to make it your own. But beyond that, it's not yours. I went in there two days before they moved in because they said they were moving from Hamilton to Gallatin mm -hmm. and they wanted me to check the house out and I heard a lot and caught a lot in there but that house was nowhere near that mm. I mean the wind wasn't blowing through it nothing like that now I've got to plastic all the windows until we get the glass glasses on back order to put in all the windows they went in they went in on the inside and you know the the plastic glass uh storm glasses you put up on the outside of windows yeah the plexiglass yeah. glass kind of crap yeah yeah the two tiered one and everything like a window they screwed them on the inside and they're like a foot and a half two foot short what never mind yeah never mind the front window, one of the front windows on the side, they put an indoor door on the outside and screwed it to it. How? I mean, we see that often, though. I mean, with, where are these people at now? In the sky about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks from that house. In another Same guy owns yeah. that one, too? Yeah. He's an idiot. Wow. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean that. He's, Literally. He's soft. He's soft-hearted. He's a. I know. It, it's it's sad, and <coughs> you know what? He's a pushover. He's gonna Rock get off. stomped on. So, I am so sorry for him. Um, you know, having a big heart sometimes bites you in the ass. Mm-hmm. So, you better have insurance. That'll cover. I don't know. Can you get insurance for that to cover renter's damage? Uh, I don't think you can. No. Like I said, that's that's. Maybe I should contact the Sanford Fire people. Find out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, but it's an interesting old house. I'd like to see it brought back to some of its glory yeah that I mean, it had a lot of nice built-in features at one time it does and you've seen all the square corners in there yeah right mm -hmm. you know gary's sls did not pick up one stick figure until we was in the front room and it picked it up on a wall that is unusual for that sls camera yeah right. it usually picks corners up like crazy I even took it around and stuck it to where it would see a corner to bring a stick figure up. And it wouldn't. Is, has Gary had, is there a calibration that's done on those things? No. We I'm took it out. Corner. We took it outside and shined it at a tree and it made a stick figure. Hmm. But yet it wouldn't do it inside that house. Was was everything in that house pretty much painted dark? No. Okay. I don't know if the dark see, paint makes a at difference. That house also is like I was telling you about my digital recorder. I have never <coughs> picked up static like that, except at that house. I wonder, I wonder if some of the wiring in the house is not up to today's standards and it's unshielded. The day we was up there, there was no electricity the day I was up there recording. Right. But unshielded cable or unshielded wire will still put off EMF and other stuff. 
Yeah, if there's no electricity. No. Going to Even if there's no electricity, you not, know, like not enough. Think back to this. Remember when I said about old old iron beds giving off EMF? There's no yeah. electricity in there, but it still no, gives off something. That's true. I mean, if we hadn't seen it, we wouldn't have known it. I like I said, I just wonder because you know. The Sally House had unshielded electric. Yeah, but they had the electric going through it. Yeah, but there are times it, when you didn't. It didn't show up on the meter until you turn that hall light on. Right. So it, it just makes me wonder. You know. Well, it's made me wonder about this place. Is like I said, the static electric. I've been in old buildings where I know it's unshielded and stuff like that, but never have I had it. While you're recording it, go <laughs> like that. Yeah. Did ow, ow, did you ow. feel the static? I. It wasn't normal in there, but you also got to remember the smell in that house was affecting a lot of your senses. Yeah, that's true, Anthony. Magnets can give off an energy charge as well. Yeah, so. magnets can. But I mean, you, I played that for you and you heard it where it makes that staticky noise. I've never had it come on that digital recorder right. anywhere. And I take that one with us everywhere we go. Yeah. The only time, sorry, again, oh, <laughs> I woke up like this today. So I guess maybe I never woke up today. Yeah. Uh, we, I, I was listening to some old shows of mine. And there are some of those that I've got a lot of feedback in them that isn't me. It, it, it's not me echoing or anything like that. I know some of it's his chair. Right. You know, we still have that chair, by the way. Can't tell, but we still have that chair. And uh, sponsored by WD-40. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Silicone spray. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you just never know what's going to be making making that. But in your case, there was nothing to be making that that we know. No, of. no, nothing at all. I wonder if Katie, his static detector, That's might know. Be it may have to contact him about. So. Um, but yeah, today's show, guys, was brought to you by multiple devices, and one of them is was brought to you by <laughs> Supernatural Ink, the uh, the ink box. So if you're wanting to check yeah, one out, that one, look up Supernatural Ink I N K, and it'll come up right in your your search. I I know it will. Um, you might it's a want spirit to... box, but if you're tired of hearing the static, the <laughs> noise on it, this one doesn't have that. Yeah, Greg, the ink box S. That's exactly right from KD. And I know you got one. I just thought it was hilarious. Power off. That, uh... I shut you off. Why are you still on? I thought it was hilarious um, when Susan won that one <coughs> in the, you know, got that one in the auction and we were going out to Smoke on. White Road and she gave it to me to take out there and then I didn't even use it. I know. <laughs> I you know. know. She, she hadn't even had the chance to, you know, hadn't even had a chance to use it and she lets me use it. So it's interesting and I'm getting ready to try some stuff on it. I'm going to uh, download some music on an SD card, right? Yep. Yeah. Old music, like they would play in the 1800s and early 1900s, and some Civil War sounds. And when we go to the cemetery, I'm going to put the SD card in this device and play it and then turn the radio on and see if we get anything out of it. Same way with up here, the music in that house. I'm sure they had big parties and everything in that house. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not that far from Smithville, Greg. Yeah, we're hoping to go go Don't have worry. dinner with Yeah, with I, use, I use Devin rods. Anthony. Oh, the vining rods, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're about an hour from Smithville and Carl's. About an hour? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's actually kind of about in halfway middle. in between. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I've we're been that, Greg, I've been down to his workshop and everything two or three times. Yeah. And we've been to the, the location that they consider their main location there in Smithville, the historical society. That I haven't been to yet. Yeah. We stayed there for our wedding anniversary. Right. And uh, I know that's where your glasses ended up under the bed. Yep. Yeah. And I was gonna say nothing happened, but yeah, that did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's not what I was gonna say, but <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. But anyway, yeah. But, but yeah. yeah, it was fun and uh and I hope to, I think I got a guest for next Monday. Somebody contacted me. And oh, uh, so good. that makes it easy. Yep. Somebody who's going to be on my show instead of somebody else's. <laughs> so, okay. I did not steal her from anybody, though. She and contacted oh. me. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I, know, think, but I think yeah. Laurie Johnson's going to be on. Oh, awesome. So, it's been a long time, you know. We grew up in the same area, and you know it's it's always nice to talk to. Well, it's kind of like last night, you know, talking to Holly, and and Dallas is like talking to somebody down at Mom's, you know. And yeah, Anthony, we did use the dowsing rods at the time the static and all that went on. They worked normally. Hmm. So did Gary use his rods at all, or did you just use yours? I used mine and he used his. How long were you guys there? Two hours. Did you have anything happen that, you know, did you have anything happen that was unusual? And, and Greg, we will contact you. We just have a rule <laughs> of 30 days between guests. The, the, uh, the unusual part about it. <coughs> <clears throat> Gary felt uneasy in there. I didn't feel exactly comfortable in the house, right? Mm -hmm. uh, other things that happened was Echo Box worked great, Ink Box S worked great. Uh, the SLS camera didn't pick up crap in that house with all yeah. them corners and doors. That just shocked me. Uh, other than that, nothing much other than we did get out of the Echo Box and the Ink Box later on when I wasn't recording live like that. Uh, it did come in there and mention about two babies that died in that house. That's what I got to go check in the history. Yeah. What was the uh, horse track called? What was the name of it? The Gallatin Racetrack. Was it? I think that's what it was called. I can't believe they had that many horse tracks back then. But the Not story that go the story that goes with that was Frank James would come up here. Yeah. He would stay in the circle squirrel cage jail. Yeah. Right? They had a room in one of the sales for him. And then from there he would go up and start the races. At yeah. The Grand Marshal. Yeah, he did that in Smithville, too. He did that everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere yeah. he was known to be part of the robberies and everything. You know. It's amazing they let him up here to do that after the James Gang shot and killed a guy up here. And they robbed the train at Winston just a couple, three or four miles down the road from us. So it's yeah. amazing they let him. He, he was a celebrity. I you know. Look at when he was in the That's Independence, the 1859 jail down there in Independence, that cell. Yeah. 
that was all set up for Frank James. He could go in and out as he pleased. That's hard to believe. Yeah, it, it really is. But we got about five minutes left, and let's see. Well, we I mean, thank I everybody I that watched our Paracon. We had a real great Paracon on here last weekend. A lot of great guests, a lot of great speakers. The Paranormal Roundtable did real good on it. I thought that was one of the best parts that we had in the whole Paracon yeah. at the end of both days. That really good. We didn't have, me and Denise didn't have to ask too many questions on those panels. They got to ask each other questions. Oh, yeah. That was real good. And Nick did a fantastic job, even though he couldn't make his spot on the Paracon, came in on the panel, and Nick is hilarious. Nick White. Yes, he is. I, I like him a lot. Like I said, I've always, I respect the guy a lot for all the stuff that he's done in his, his life. You know, he does so many things to help everybody out. So, so yeah, he's he bends over backwards for people, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully they appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I found a website on on Gallatin, and I'm looking to see if it shows anything from the track. Right. So far, no. But some of the buildings that you guys had there were just beautiful. Homes. Oh yeah. So, the Rock Island Train Depot. And then, see, if you dig in deeper in history, right there at the corner, it would be on the southwest corner <coughs> of the public square is where they had a big shootout with the Mormons up there. Mm. And Was I'm talking a big shootout. We're talking... 50 to 100 people were up there in a shootout. There's something from about. What I've been told. You know, it just makes you wonder about, about history up there. Mm hmm. So. Well, you know what's stranger is go to Caldwell County, the next county down from is where I used to live at. Yeah. You can't find history in that county. Huh. Well, it's courthouse, been... courthouse burnt down too many right. times with it. Yeah. yeah. So, you only have word of mouth for some of it. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. But so, the history up here is something that a historian that knows to look in places and how to find the information would have a blast up here. Oh, yeah. If they know where to find it. Mm-hmm. Everything well, you got part of the history up here at Gallatin is where that squirrel cage jail is. Right. You go north a bit, maybe a thousand yards, if that far. And that's where they hung the two guys that killed the uh, railroad guy. And yeah. one of them, his name was Joe Jump. Steeple chasing. So what idiot would come into Gallatin and start a barbecue shop and call it Joe Jumps? I don't know why. But he did. He did. This is Gallatin, Tennessee. So Yeah, Gallatin, Tennessee comes up a lot when you're trying to find Gallatin, Missouri. Yeah. Right, but I put in Missouri. I'm looking for that horse track to see if I can find anything on it. Mm-hmm. And... I can't find, I'm not finding anything. I'll have to probably look at newspapers.com to see if I can find something. Find one. Right. Smithville one. Actually, the Smithville one, you, you know, if you ever go to Smithville, Missouri, and you go to the Historical Society, the guy who runs that place, he is a wealth of knowledge. Mm -hmm. He talked, he showed us pictures of the track and everything else. I mean, in one room, I swear he had more history than. A lot of museums. So it was just amazing. And when we checked in to stay there, I swear we spent 
an hour and a half in this one little room of him showing us all the history and telling us about it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's kind of weird, but it was really neat. So, right. Well, uh, folks, thank you for tuning in to Paranormal Nation Radio Not So Normal. Tonight wasn't as normal as we usually do on here, but uh, that's how we come up with the name Not So Normal. But uh, we want to thank everybody in the chat room for watching. Share this out. Uh, go to the Bill of Rights Network for all the shows over there. Denisha's show, Paranormal Pride, on Monday nights at 7 p.m. You always got to check it out. Mm -hmm. And check out all our shows. We have several paranormal shows on the network and some mm -hmm. more coming. Uh, but uh, we have a lot of political shows. We have a lot of shows for anybody and everybody out there. Yep. You know, politics, from, the paranormal, and everything in between. Right. From putting models together. So we got all that. But anyway, y'all have a good night and we will see you next week. Bye, guys. See ya. Thank you.